pack your bags, you're excited, you get to your destination, you land, and all of a sudden you get to the baggage claim area and no bag. Where does it go? We're about to find out. Welcome back to Get Connected. I'm your host, Con Jackson. We're here in Luxuryville, Tourisville. We're in Las Vegas, baby. We got the Cosmopolitan Hotel behind me. Well, that's the Aria. The Cosmopolitan's in front of me, and who knows, Elvis might just be in the building. We'll find out in a moment. But Billy and Mark are part of a new Travel Channel show called Baggage Battles, and they join us right now to tell us more. Welcome, gentlemen. Hi, Hi Con. Con. Nice unison, guys. First and foremost, congratulations on your new show. Thank you. Well, tell us, how did you guys both come up with the concept? We actually I mean, didn't. Uh, we were approached by Travel Channel. Billy has an antique store. I have a thrift shop. We go to police auctions all the time, and they just so happen to want to film it. Right. We've been doing auctions for, I've been doing it for 30 years, uh, but uh, they, they approached us. Well, I'm certainly glad you guys did. It sounds really exciting. But tell us, how much fun is it doing the show? Oh, it's amazing. I mean, it's so we go all over the country. I mean, we did something in Atlanta recently. And we just got back from Scotland, so yeah. we're getting quite a tour. Well, you guys, you know I'm home based out of Atlanta, the busiest airport in the world. I know you've had to do at least a show from there, right? Yes, of yeah, course. Of course, yes. Atlanta is a huge shipping hub, as you know yeah, already. Really, it had to do with the airport and a freight. It was also a freight auction, which is uh, amazing because we bid on these wooden pallets filled with stuff that you really can't see inside what it is. They have a brief description, and uh, everybody carries a gun in Georgia. <laughs> yep, yep, you're right on target. Now tell us a little bit more about Baggage Battles. Baggage Battles is bidding on lost and unclaimed luggage at airport auctions around the country and sometimes abroad. We've done London and Scotland. So what happens is after these bags go unclaimed for six months, me and Billy and lots of other people get the opportunity to bid on these auctions and hopefully get a nice prize. Yeah, and we get a lot of the, uh, what's really unique about our show is we have up to a thousand people from the general public bidding against us. So whatever strategy I have or Mark has, we have a thousand people that are a complete wild card that can throw off our strategy. So it's very exciting when the auction starts, people forget about the cameras. They don't even care. What they care about is getting a deal. And uh, this is what we deal with in these auctions. Hey guys, I'm just curious, what is one item that you guys have recently found that totally surprised you? Well, I got it right here, actually. I'll show it to you. Uh, this I found in a, in a bag. And uh, it's a 1965 German G.I. Joe, and it was nicely wrapped, and it was sitting in the bag, and I couldn't believe it because I'm old enough to have played with these things. But I know that the German one happens to be a very rare and valuable one, and this was a complete home run. <laughs> wow, that is certainly crazy. But what led you first to bid on baggage? Uh, generally, uh, I've always heard rumors about carry-ons, and eventually I started attending these auctions and finding out for myself. We usually don't win on the bags, but what happens is it only takes one real nice bag to make all those other bags yeah. worth it. And the thing is, we cannot open the bags. We can't open the bags. So it's a... Uh, it's a crapshoot. It's a crapshoot. I mean, you yeah. have to go... I go with my gut feeling. I mean, uh, I'd say I have a probably a 30, 35% success rate. 65% is garbage, dumpster. Very interesting. So, Mark, tell us about your store, Nifty Thrifty. It was a thrift store I started about a year ago to help uh, move the product from uh, auctions that I purchase. And it's a small 1,500 square foot thrift shop. And hopefully with the uh, arrival of tomorrow night's premiere, um, foot traffic will pick up quite a bit. And uh, I'll be talking a different tune in a little bit and hopefully uh, sales go up. Very cool. Now, Billy, tell us about your antique store. Uh, Billy's Antiques and Props, it's closed for two years for renovation. So I can just do this TV stuff, which I absolutely love doing. Uh, but I, we're building a new building on the Bowery in New York City uh, in two years. But uh, I'm doing a lot of internet. I'm going to a lot of auctions. It actually feels good to not to be tied down to a store, to have a little bit of a break after 30 years of being in a store. Well, that certainly makes a lot of sense, Billy. But tell us, why do most people, I guess, with your experience, lose their luggage? Most of the reasons that people lose their luggage is they didn't tag it properly. Right. They didn't use up-to-date contact information. And personally, Con, when me and Billy travel, I know I got one tag on the outside and I got one tag on the inside. It's absolutely important to not put those flimsy pieces of paper because you're rushed and you're, you're, you're at the counter checking your bag. Oh my God, I didn't check my bag. Do you have that piece? And you put that flimsy little piece of paper that's going to get ripped off and then there's no way of, of, of uh, identifying the bag. I use the Sharpie. I, 
mark it directly on my bag. And this is very important. And we encourage people to do this because uh, you don't want guys like us winning your bags. <laughs> well, congratulations on the show. And I'm just curious, what's it like having all the cameras follow you around? Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, bring it on. Uh, it, it's a rare opportunity for America to see this side of business. So we've encouraged it. I mean, it, it does get stressful at times because when we are shooting an episode, uh, you know, we're on a timetable and it's, uh, it can be stressful, but it's really, uh, it's fun. I mean, it's like uh, when my store is packed with customers and I have to make five sales at the same time. The same thing with TV. You got to do five things at the same time. And we get to talk to cool guys like you, Kong. That's awesome. Now, Billy, not to put you on the spot, but now that you've been working with Mark, what impresses you most about him? Well, actually, we're not a team at all. We have we're, to compete we're against co one another. We're co-competitors. But what I do like about Mark is when I first saw Mark, I said, oh, you know, this young guy, know it all. But then when I saw how he bid and his strategy of bidding, he was a real competitor to me. And uh, <clears throat> when the dust settles and the auction's over, Mark and I are always making deals. I mean, I'm selling him stuff. He's selling me stuff. I mean, we're, we're dealers. And, I'm and a dealer. To right? lend Billy Mark credit, you know, obviously is quite a bit older than me, but uh, 30 years of experience in the <laughs> antique world definitely uh, outshines me with the older stuff. Yeah, I like, he, he learns a lot. I, I tell him a lot about antiques, painting, sculpture. And he actually, because I wasn't really into the diamonds and gold and silver weight, he's really helped me, uh, you know, get into that field. I was always into purely the, the antique aspect of uh, auctions. Great responses, guys. Congratulations on your new show on the Travel Channel, Baggage Battles. I look forward to tuning in. Thank, Thank you, John. Certainly great having an opportunity to connect with Mark and Billy. Baggage battles. I mean, those guys have some great chemistry just there. Imagine about on their new show on the Travel Channel. We're going to have to check that out. But one thing's for sure, when I put my bag on the plane, I'm going to make sure it has a sturdy tag on it so it makes it to my destination. Now, coming up next, we're going to talk to one of my favorite chefs, Aaron Sanchez. He's going to put a little Latin spice into your life next. You know, I basically take traditional Latino dishes and tweak them with some contemporary technique. So glad you got to check out that clip. But listen, we've got plenty more going on here at Get Connected, our TV show. My friend and I are going to give you a glimpse of all the fun. So take it away. The sun shines bright as it moves across my face. I feel the light and everything is in its place. I woke up feeling great, today was made for me And life is good the way it should, the way it was meant to be Well join us and we'll get you in the know. Check us out at GetConnected at ConTV.com and be part of the movement. Hey.